So we had the first season of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series come to a close. So what did I think about it? So I'm coming to y'all as the perspective of a person who read the book when it first came around almost 20 years ago now. Man, that's a long time. And this is a series that I've really been waiting for. This was one of the series that I was looking forward to. I was excited for it. I was just hoping and hoping that they will do a good adaptation of the book. Uh, from, you know, besides what the movie we got that wasn't really that good of an adaptation. So I was just hoping and hoping as a fan of the book and one of this series of books that I love. Just hoping that they will be able to do this series good and well and be able to do it as a good adaptation of the book. And I got to say, I am so glad as a fan of the book series, um, I'm so glad what they were able to do with this series. I, and the, overall, I ended up liking this series so much and what they were able to do and bring, being able to bring this to the screen and be able to just adapt the book so well. Like a lot of fans, that's what some of the things we're worried about with this new series and with the movies, we didn't really get a great adaptation of the book so we we're really looking forward to the series and hopefully getting a good adaptation to where it kind of lines up with the books and is adapting the books well and this series overall i think it does it pretty well we were able to get the key moments and some key details the same as the book but of course this is a series and they can't include every little detail from the book and i think they uh, were able to do a good job of changing some things here and there to a uh, you know to adapt it to the series, but also to keep it with it, keeping it with in line with the book. Of course, they couldn't include everything from the book. There was some stuff they cut. Uh, <laughs> of course, there were some changes they made. But when it comes to adapting the book and the changes they made, I think it overall went pretty well with when it comes to the series in general and to the series overall. They were able to make some changes that may not have looked too good or adapted too well into a live action form from the book so they made some good changes here and there but they tried to stick as close to this book as they can and they adapted it so well when it comes to the cast the cast is doing has such wonderful performances uh whenever walker scobell was announced as playing percy jackson honestly i was on board with that i could see how he could be able to pull off a great Percy Jackson and being able to play that character. Like at first I saw him in the Adam project. That's the only thing I really seen him in. But after watching that movie and then they announced him as Percy Jackson, I was like, I could see that. I could see how he could be able to play Percy Jackson. Well, and I got to say, he really did a phenomenal job with capturing the character from the book and being able, being able to play this character of Percy Jackson, where as the season progresses, we are able to see his confidence build. And we were able to see the snarkiness that Percy Jackson has from the books. And just overall being able to play this character so well. Like Walker Scobell did a absolutely awesome job of playing this character. And the other characters like uh, uh, Leah who played Annabeth. I thought she did a pretty good job with playing uh, Annabeth. And just capturing that whole thing of being a daughter of Athena and Grover. The Grover actor was also playing his character pretty well like when it comes to these main three characters um you could just be able to see their uh their chemistry and on screen and be able to play well off each other and you could it just comes across that they are going on this journey and then how they do become friends and all that and you just see it on screen seeing how well they progress with each other throughout the season and just the rest of the cast the rest of the cast that we get playing their characters um, honestly all done pretty well with playing their characters and we did get uh zeus played by lance reddick the late lance reddick rest in peace to him we we're able to get him in the last episode and just the way that he just comes on screen his presence on screen and we're, the way he just plays zeus the way he plays the character where it, you can see it in his facial expressions you can see in his eyes just the way he comes across on screen and it has this presence this intimidating presence is very uh, intimidating being able to see him play this character of Zeus and he just does it so well and seeing the actor who plays Poseidon on screen too the couple times that we get him throughout this uh, this season and you can see how he's you know he's a god and the gods aren't supposed to be interacting with their children but you can see how 
much he is a father first and how much it actually affects him to where he's not able to be able to interact with his son Percy. And you can kind of see that in a couple of scenes that we get from him. And the actress that plays Percy's mom, she does the character so well. Uh, being able to see how she is with Percy and just being the mother to him. And you can see those emotional scenes come across also. And just being able to see that. Uh, she did a pretty good job as well. And I just like that they were able to get the uh, author of the book series to be able to come on board and have uh, some creative control and be able to consult and be able to look over things and make sure that they are doing this pretty like you know doing it right so i gotta commend them for that for at least bringing on the author so he could be able to have creative control and consult and do things see the progress and see how things are playing out although i did end up loving this series there is just a couple of nitpicks i did have one was probably the con uh, casino scene uh honestly i just felt a little underwhelmed with that whole scene in general um i just felt it didn't I just felt like it didn't really live up to what it could have been. And I hate to even say this, but honestly, I kind of like the casino scene in the movie a little bit more than what we got in this one. But nonetheless, that's just a nitpick. And kind of another nitpick that I had was when we get to the last episode, we get the whole reveal. Don't want to spoil anything. But if y'all seen the show and y'all know the book, y'all know the whole ending reveal that we get with some characters. And honestly, I just felt a little underwhelmed with that whole scene also too. I just felt like it wasn't dramatic as it was in a book and just the way it plays out honestly um i just felt like it didn't play out as dramatically or thematically as i wish it could have been but nonetheless the whole reveal part was still a good scene to see but really like i was saying i ended up loving this series and i will say it was kind of hard watching it week to week you know one episode per week because you know i was enjoying the show enjoying each episode and by the time they came to the end of the episode it didn't always leave off on a cliffhanger, but it just want, just had me wanting more. Just had me clamoring for more and to continue watching, see what happens next. And one of the things about watching week to week, one episode per week, was like, you didn't know exactly what they were going to take from the books and put it into this series. So each week and each episode almost was like still a mystery, even though you read the book, because you just didn't know exactly what they were going to adapt, what they were going to take from the book and put it into the series. So it still had like a little mystery aspect and it just wanted, just had me wanting more, wanting to keep watching each episode as soon as the episode ended and just had me clamoring for more each week. So for a series to be able to do that, that is something great. And I will say that I did watch the making of special. It popped up right after at the end of the finale episode it popped up and decided to watch it and just seeing what they're able to do and be able to make this series and just seeing how they have the creators and the actors the cast and everybody just had this sense of passion uh for making this series honestly it got me a little emotional and a little choked up just because i love this series of books one of my favorite book series of all time i've been waiting for something like this i've been waiting for a series like this that was going to be able to do a good job of adapting the book and to say that we finally get that after so many years it's just um just amazing and awesome to be able to say that and honestly i really did love this series you know a couple of nitpicks here and there but overall it was an amazing series and had me clamoring for more i just can't wait to watch it honestly i i'm gonna to have to watch it again just binge watch through it and see how it goes uh, but hopefully we get a season two. I can't wait for it. Hopefully we get a season two and they did an amazing job so far with this first season. I can't wait for the second season. Hopefully we get it. And it was just amazing. Just amazing what they're able to do with this series and be able to adapt the book so well and still made some changes here and there, but still was able to adapt the book, adapt the book pretty well. So like I gotta say, I ended up loving this series, this first season of this uh, Percy Jackson, and it was honestly amazing and awesome to be able to see this finally on screen, finally see a good version on screen, and be able to watch this series in this first season. They did an amazing job. I, I just gotta say, um, you know, kudos to them. They did such an amazing, phenomenal job with this first season, and hopefully we get a second season. Can't wait for it to continue with this story.